Hi guys, three week update. It's been exactly three weeks since I took my birth control out. I think the last update I gave you guys, it was last week and I was still feeling like I was on this roller coaster of like highs and lows. And then last week I felt like everything kind of leveled out. And then this week I had like a burst of energy. I felt like all my energy was just like coming back and I felt like so much myself. And I was just like inspired and getting so much done and flowing and just feeling like so in tune with my body. And then yesterday, I feel like I just went into like my winter season. Like I was so tired that I got in bed at 5.30 p.m. and I was asleep by like 6.30. <laughs> and I have been doing a lot. And so I'm like, okay, maybe this is just my body. Like, okay, I'm finally done with everything. I can relax. But I was just like exhausted, like so tired, not not feeling like sad or low, just like literally feeling my body like being exhausted. <laughs> so I just allowed my body to just get in bed early. And then this morning I woke up and guess who is here? Mrs. Flo. It's really interesting because my body stayed on the exact same cycle that it was on before. And I was thinking that maybe my cycle would kind of get messed up a little bit from, you know, removing those hormones from my body, but it did not. It did not at all, and I'm like on the exact same cycle that I was. I use the Flow app to track my cycle, and usually the exact day that it says my period is going to start, it always starts. And I was thinking because of the removal that obviously my hormones were going to be like a little jacked up and... Maybe my period might start early, or maybe it might start late, or maybe I might not get a period for a certain amount of months, but that wasn't the case at all. So it's been exactly three weeks, and according to my app, I'm going to be ovulating exactly, I'm going to be in my ovulation window exactly 30 days from when I removed the birth control. So according to the Flow app, I'll be ovulating starting on um, July 16th. But, you know, the window opens before that. And it just feels like so crazy that I could possibly like potentially be pregnant 30 days from the removal of my implant. And I'm not saying that's what's going to happen, but just the fact that it's possible to me is insane. And I just feel like I've been waiting for this for so long and I've been ready for so long that it just feels like it doesn't feel real that it's a possibility now. I'm still separated from my husband. It's been a full month that we've been separated and we're going to see each other in like three days. I'm so excited to see him. It's crazy when you're apart from someone that you love so much and that complements your life in so many ways and just like makes your life so much better and so much easier. And just being apart from that person is like... It just makes you appreciate and love them so much more. I know you guys have heard the quote, distance makes the heart grow fonder, and that could not be more true. We're pretty much healed up. I do have like a little bit of a scar, but when I hold my arm out to the side, you can't really see it. It's just like when I turn my arm upside down, you can see it. So I'll do a little zoom in close up so you can see it better. I'm thinking that what's going to happen is that the scar tissue is going to turn like a little more white and blend in with my skin a little more. Overall, I'm super thankful for all of the years that I had the Nexplan on and how great of an experience overall I had with it. And of course, like, yes, there's pros and cons to every birth control. Like if you're going to put hormones in your body, then there's going to be side effects and there's going to be pros and cons and you just have to weigh the pros and cons and see what's going to work for you and your body. I'm really excited for this new chapter and to see what it brings and just to have the Nexplan on out of my arm and just to be back to my normal hormones and all of this flushed out of my body it feels so good. So I think that's it on the healing journey. I think this is going to be the end of this video. I'm definitely going to continue updating you guys on the process and the journey and what I experience and what unfolds. And for sure, once this is like 
even more healed than this. Like, I'll let you know how the scar is looking. But I'm going to end this video here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments what your experience is, if you're planning on getting the next one on, or if you just had removal. I am really interested to hear, like, how long it took you to get pregnant. Um, if you were able to get pregnant right away or not after your next Splanon removal. And please like and subscribe and follow along. And if you want to connect with me on Instagram, my name there is Courtney Glenn. I also have a podcast. It's called Expand. And I'm on YouTube. I'm on Spotify. I'm on Apple Podcasts. Next time you hear from me, I'm going to be back in the United States of America. And I could not be more excited to return home and be back in the States. Like, I miss the United States so much. Japan has been amazing. It's been so fun. But it's time to go. I love you guys. I will talk to you soon. Bye.